Ainur Tursambayeva with guests of the studio cooks dishes of oriental cuisine. Kazakh life, Dagan. Hello friends, as usual with you, Taram program. The guest of our kitchen today is the famous designer, entrepreneur, Gulnara Kasim. Gulnara, welcome to our studio. Thank you. Gulnara Kasim, designer, entrepreneur. Favorite color, blue. Favorite dish, pilaf. Favorite drink, tea. Favorite designer, Yetro. Favorite poet, Abay Kunanbaev. Your appearance shows that you are a fashion designer. We often follow you on social networks. Do you take part in fashion shows abroad? Of course. There were three shows in one month. The first was in Nur Sultan, the second in Sochi, and the most recent was in Paris. I just got back from a trip yesterday, therefore I came to you with good impressions in a perfect mood. From Paris with love. What food will Gulnara Kasim cook for us today? In Paris, I saw that people eat onion soup. Kazakhs will never eat onion soup. So today we will cook the dish that we will definitely eat, that is hearty, tasty dish of oriental cuisine, one of the varieties of Uyghur Lagman. What's the name of the dish? It's called ganfan. Today we will cook a lighter version with chicken. What kind of ingredients do we need to make ganfan? First of all, we need chicken, carrot, onion, bell pepper, cabbage, garlic, starch, sauce, and rice. The name of the dish is unusual, but it's very tasty. <laughs> I'm sure it is. So let's start cooking. Now I will give you gloves for convenience. We have our official pages on social networks, where we regularly report to the public. The first criticism is why they don't put on gloves, and second, why they do not collect their hair. Our guests say we do not do anything like this at home, and that's very uncomfortable. We urge you to try, even though it's not easy. Are we removing chicken skin? Yes, we are. The chicken skin is greasy. The skin is removing easily. I'll do it, and you may continue cooking. Recently, one of my friends asked me, I know, do you know Gulnara Kasim? I replied, yes, I know well. And she asked again, how old is she? I said, I don't know. It's inconvenient to ask women's age. Women do not like when someone is asking their age, especially when they get over 30. I said to that girl, I don't know the actual age of Gunara Kasim, but I know she has many grandchildren. Then she replied, I heard that she has five or six grandchildren, but she looks younger, and it's hard to believe that she has grandchildren. Everyone is asking this question. Yesterday I came from Almaty and I was there, and someone asked me, how old are you? And like every woman, I replied, how old do you think I am? She thought I was 35. Some are saying, while we get older, you're becoming younger. Why does it happen? You know this better from psychology aspect. It's because of the spiritual state. Tumanbay Molda Galif, in one of his poems, says, You do not blame me. 
If you do not run, the road runs away. Do not worry, my heart is still young. I think it's because you're young at heart, to accept yourself as you are, not to frown, not to stay in the heart. It's all displayed on the state of the soul and on the appearance in general. They say that in addition to biological age, there is also a psychological age. I agree with that because someone who is young at heart looks younger than he is. Psychological age depends on your thoughts also. How old do you think you are according to your psychological age? Five years ago, I would say 18. I'm ashamed to say it now. Don't be shy. How old would you give yourself now? Without hesitation, I would say my psychological age is 35. Gunara Kasim has eight grandchildren. Thanks to God. Now try to guess how old Gunara is. Not only, but your husband looks young too, doesn't he? Yes. We started to monitor our health after 30. But not to say that we began to do sports, just started to eat right, do not eat fat, go to the sanatorium, and so on. You follow a healthy lifestyle, yes. Is that enough, onions? Yes, it is. For Ganfan, we cut the meat into thin strips. Then I'll start warming up the pan. No, 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 not yet. I think we need more meat. Then I'll cut some more meat. My husband and I got married early. When my daughter was eight years old, we were visiting my friend. And our daughters asked each other when they would get married. My daughter replied that she will marry early. The daughter of a friend asked why. My daughter said, since my parents got married early, after all, my children married early. By your experience, do you think it's good that children get married early? Since you're the mother of five children, the grandmother of eight grandchildren, so many good and difficult moments you have experienced in your life. At that time, even if we married early, we had a very strength of character. All difficulties survived together through our wits and education. My husband and I have been together for almost 35 years. Thank God. I think a woman should be wiser. I do agree. The family must have intelligence, patience, and most importantly love. Only love can help to go through the hardships of life. Even if the children are still young but have already met their love, then I think we shouldn't interfere. We must marry them. So we did with our children. When children came to introduce you to their chosen ones, did you immediately agree with their choice? Were there moments when you were against marriage? No, there were no such case as we accepted the choice of our children. Yes, I believe that the opinion of children should be considered. Can we hit the pan now? We cut the chicken into thin strips. Then we mixed soy sauce with starch and left to marinate chicken in this sauce. The smell is amazing. It has to stay for a while, doesn't it? Yes, it has to stay a little.
We mix soy sauce with starch and left to marinate chicken in this sauce. Now we're warming up the pan. Let's pour oil. We will use olive oil. For this dish, do we need to use olive oil instead of vegetable oil? Any oil that is at hand. How much oil to pour? That's enough. Now put the meat. Let's start frying the meat. In the meantime, I'll chop and prepare the carrots for frying. Can I start making the side dish? Let me pour some olive oil for the side dish too. Do we add water first? No, first we'll fry the vegetables. Then you better go on and I'll cut the carrots. Here's a spoon. The oil is still heating up. In the meantime, wash the bell pepper. Do we cut carrots into strips too? Yes, we do. The oil is hot, now we can start frying. Should I start chopping peppers? Yes. What a smell. No words. In order to start making a side dish, let's put the rice into hot water. In hot water it will swell a little and then the rice will cook faster. First we will fry the rice. Gulnara, where are you from? I grew up in Turkmenistan. Really? Yes. Usually it's unusual for us to hear the word ganfan. The dish itself is a rarity for us. Now I have a question, how did you learn to cook ganfan? All these years I've seen a lot. Do Kazakhs live in Turkmenistan? Our grandfathers were persecuted by the authorities because they were rich and they were forced to flee. One grandfather went to Iran and then the other to Turkmenistan. This grandfather was your mother's side. It was my dad's side. Look how the rice is cooked. We fried rice. What do we do next? Let's add water and add salt to taste. We invited our relatives from Iran to us and then they invited us to Iran. The wives of our brothers shared their impressions after the trip and they said that the wives of Iranians are very lucky. I asked why. They said that someone had invited them, and usually when guests come to us, we try to cook everything ourselves so that the table is bursting with food. And there women set the table and greeted us with treats that they just bought at the market. Let's reduce the fire, as now we will put the onion. In some places onions are called onions and in Seme it is called garlic. They get confused all the time. In the south onions are also called differently. Here to the meat, which is now fried, we will put onions. When I was 8 years old we moved to Aktau. I grew up in Mangastau. You grew up among Adais. Yes, you moved from Turkmenistan. What language did you speak there? I spoke Turkmen until I was 8 years old. I didn't know Russian at all. Can you speak Turkmen now? No, I can't. I went to the first grade. My parents sent me to the Kazakh group. I didn't understand anything. I got C until the third grade. You did not understand Kazakh, did you? No, I didn't understand Kazakh or Russian. 
Starting from the fourth grade, I started to learn Kazakh, started speaking Russian, and started getting A. Can you cut the carrots and cabbage? Yes. Should I cut them into thin strips too? Yes. How many years did your parents live in Turkmenistan? My father was born in Turkmenistan and then went to Moscow State University. As soon as my father graduated from the university, he was invited to work in Mangastau. So how many years later you came back to motherland? As soon as my father graduated from university, he was invited to work in Mangastau. My father built a house and moved my grandfather. It was in 1966. So how many years later? In about 50 years. It's easy for us to say now, but when we go abroad, we won't return home in 10 days. Living for 50 years away from home is a real challenge. At such moments, we sigh heavily and understand that our ancestors had a hard time. I ask questions about your grandfather because today's release is watched by Kazakhs all over the world. They may also be interested in the fate of your grandfather. After all, they are scattered in the world, not from an easy life. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. They have been through such trials. They have to stay alive to raise their children. For the sake of their children, they cross the border. Now we are frying. I grew up with my grandparents. So I know what it's like to live in a yurt. I even saw the birth of a baby. Did you live in a yurt? Yes. Then it's obvious why you became a designer. <laughs> I remember that in Turkmenistan there were several types of felt. My sisters-in-law were engaged in the manufacturing of felt. Then we sat together and learned to draw patterns on it. The felt had to be shaken, after which we put it in the hot water. I asked my grandmother to leave me a felt carpet. Then she left me her prayer rack. Now this rack warms my soul. Our rice is cooked. Yes, it is. Should I turn off the stove? Yes. Turn it off. The meat is also ready. Now we will put garlic and hot pepper. It's important to cut it like this. And also hot pepper. Put it like this. As far as I know, ganfan is a spicy dish. Yes. But it all depends on your taste. You can put a little hot pepper if you do not like spicy food. It smells so good. Previously, when we ate lagman or ganfan in the cafe, we always wondered what they added to give a taste. And today, we have shown you, step by step, what you need to cook a delicious ganfan. Great. Should I finally chop the cabbage? Yes, I want to show you my favorite light salad. Is it for salad? Yes. I usually eat it in the morning. We need cabbage and raw beets. You can do it without cabbage. I use it now as there is a little cabbage left. Shall I cut the vegetables? Yes. Honestly, the greens that I'm going to shred, I see for the first time. You may not put all the greens in the salad, as it is still useful to us for decoration of ganfan. Then I'll shred it all. Yes.
It turns out today, in addition to delicious Igur Ganfan, we are cooking Gulnara's favorite light salad, which she eats every day. The salad is very useful for cleansing the body. Should I add greens? Yes. I'll leave some greens to decorate the dish. It smells amazing. Nothing has lost its color. The vegetables are perfectly fried without sticking to each other. The dish does look great. It contains vegetables of different colors, red, yellow, green, like a dress you're wearing. Psychologists who visited us say that food should be cooked with love. Today you can see that Gulnara put all her love into this dish. I would like to know that with Ainur and I today are the trend. I thought that I just grabbed whatever off the wardrobe, and it turns out to be fashionable. In fact, the color of clothing shows the brightness of the inner world of a man. Wow, do you see the brightness of my inner world? And it emphasizes the inner beauty. I wish you to light up happiness. Thanks. For the salad, we chopped cabbage, carrots, apples and beets. It turned out to be a good vitamin salad. Oh, mom. I know you can start shifting the dish. I'll add olive oil to the salad. I love such salads. It can be made in advance and consumed every day. It will be a good detox for the body. This salad can be eaten in the evening. You can eat it before meals two or three times a day. It's good to cleanse your body. Here's our rice. To this salad, you don't need to add pepper. An apple will give its flavor to the salad. Our salad and ganfan are ready. The smell is amazing. Both salad and ganfan are dietary. Salad is very useful for cleansing the body, as they say in a healthy body, a healthy mind. In general, health begins with proper food. Therefore, for a healthy lifestyle, you need to start eating right. Gulnara, thank you very much for coming. Thank you too. Thank you for your valuable information for coming to us. We express our gratitude to you for replenishing the bank of recipes. Dear viewers, always stay with the Taham program. <laughs>